Hi, welcome to Trading with TK, teaching you to turn ideas into money. We're at www.tradingwithtk.com, and it's Wednesday, August 20th. Uh, ooh, not a good rally at all. Um, so my suspicion that the, uh, the uptrend that we've enjoyed for the last 27 days probably has come to an end, uh, are gaining uh, more evidence. Um, uh, 68 point rally we expected a rally but it was pretty anemic um, uh, no kick behind any of these rallies and it kind of added another negative day to the uh, to the pattern so um, instead of uh, making the pattern look more bullish it's made them look more bearish and now we have the transportation average uh, broke yesterday's low uh, so the evidence is starting to mount that uh, it looks like we're going to roll over and uh, so what does it mean okay well I see it this way the stocks that have rallied big during those 27 days are going to roll over and they're going to come back down again the stocks that didn't rally that are sort of in their base building formations which we have a couple of them I believe that they're not going to break out on any big runs but they're going to continue to consolidate and stay within their patterns a little up and down each day until this uh, until this little correction that we're in uh, runs its course, uh, and the stocks that have already been knocked down, such as the energy sector, I expect them to rally. So um, to play this, rather than bring a short and give you a short idea, uh, I'm going to uh, come with a energy stock that's you know counter market basically. But if the market's going to go down, usually energy is going to go up. And this has already been knocked down, and uh, it's starting to put in a, a nice little rounded bottom. And the stock is Ivanhoe Energy. The symbol is IVAN. So in just a moment, I'll uh, show you the chart, and I'll show you how we can take this idea and turn it into some money. Now don't go away. I will be right back. Okay, we're looking at a daily bar chart of IVAN, Ivanhoe Energy. And there's a call on the long side. And we'll be looking to buy this stock tomorrow right around $2.55 right in here. Uh, I don't think it's going to pull back much. I mean, it kind of already did that today. My target is $3.80. It's the old high. And uh, my stop loss limit would be a break below this level right here which would be two dollars and twenty cents a close below that um, would definitely change the picture okay so what do I see well first of all let me turn this into a nine day chart because I want to point out the support area that it's back down into this was our original resistance area here, here, and then when it finally came through, it just exploded. And now that it's back down into this area again, this is actually a support area. So I want to point that out. Now we'll go back to a daily, and I'll show you where that line comes out. It comes out right here. So what do I see? Well, I see this rounded bottom. We've seen these before. Sometimes they have a tail sticking down out of them, which looks like a reverse head and shoulders. This is close to it, but it's not quite there. Uh, it has uh, a flat top. Remember, I've always told you if there's a flat top, it's going to break through it. It sort of looks uh, similar to the, um, the QQQ chart before it broke out. Remember that? Plus, I can uh, see an ascending triangle in here also. So uh, this, is, this is a good bet. Uh, this, uh, this has come back down. It's corrected. It's this whole area here is a pretty good support area and it certainly looks like it wants to try and rally again uh, and if the rest of the market's going to roll over people have to find something to buy so they're going to come for the energy stocks so let me recap this this is IVAN this is a call on the long side and when all is said and done I think we can probably make ourselves depending on where we buy it probably a buck thirty so this will be like a thirty something percent return on our money Okay, um, let's go take a look at the major indexes. 
and I'll show you that they're just sliding, they're getting sloppier. Um, the picture is getting more and more bearish every day. Like I said, I need, I need a few days for it to start to reveal itself, and, and uh, what it showed me today is uh, uh, a, negative, a negative picture. Okay, this is the Dow. Uh, yes, we rallied, and, uh, but now this probably is now going to be resistance. What was that support area, why that was a key area to me, is that now that we're trying to come back up, we may not get through it. And if we do, I don't know if we're going to get through this area here. Plus, we have these declining tops. And once again, there's that dangling participle. Remember it over here? Well, we have another one here. So each day, it's starting to get more and more bearish looking. How far down? I just don't know. I just know the picture is starting to look bearish. Take a look at the transportation average. Another lower low. Declining tops. Similar picture. See it? So even if we get a little bit of a kickback rally, this the, the, the look is just rolling over. It's got a rolling over look. Took out this low today. So instead of, instead of making the chart look stronger, we got a more negative look to it today. So as the market starts to reveal itself, it's showing us that it's probably in trouble. Russell 2000. Broke yesterday's low. Well, it closed up a dollar fifty-seven. But you know, this was this was one of the gangbusters and a dollar fifty-seven rally. And this is like a down day, just about. And um, so, I think it just added another negative day. We'll see what tomorrow brings. But I, I don't uh, I don't think we're go it's going to change the look much. Let's take a look at the SPY standard and Poor's 500. A little bit of a rally in this, but once again, we're, we're running into this area here. The area that we broke yesterday now is probably going to be a problem trying to get back up through it again. And uh, we, you can see we also made a lower low from yesterday. So another negative day. QQQQs, you know, no help here. They tried to rally. They closed up eight cents. You know they may try to get back up into this area again, but now I see this. These two these two days here that I didn't want the market to break on the downside. Since they broken it, now they can't get back up through it. So now it's become resistance. So each day, you know, the market's uh, starting to look more and more negative to me. Okay, so that's my view of the market. Um, we're still cautious. I'm selling some stocks out that I've uh, had some uh, small profits in. The PEIX, uh, we got about 11% profit. CPSL, 6%. Nothing gigantic, but uh, I'm not going to let the profit slip away. Those are two positions that I've been carrying for a little bit of a while. We gave them a chance, and uh, you know, like I said, I'm getting very defensive. The stocks that still uh, are in the base spacing uh, formations, um, we're going to give them some more time. Okay, so until tomorrow, this is TK signing off.